Perky Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got my trusty mini scout here with me today. I uh, just want to talk uh, here kind of um, briefly about something. This was brought up uh, by Ethan on my comments uh, asking about doing ailerons on the Simple Scout. And I pretty much wasn't 100% sure on the measurements myself. Um, I kind of just, you know, had a couple measurements in my head, uh, went with them, eyeballed it, made adjustments, and, and, and you know, just kind of went from there. So, um, but basically I did use, you know, of course, two different, two aileron servos on this. Um, I did go ahead and, and you actually can see my tick marks uh, in there where I've been measuring and cutting and everything. So, um, so that, that, of course, is still on there. Now, once, of course, I paint this, it will, you won't foresee that, but... Basically, the ailerons themselves were about an inch wide. Um, I measured it was two inches from this edge over here and about an inch, inch and a half from the fuselage. So that kind of gives you a rough idea as far as how much I actually cut um, uh, to make the ailerons. Um, something else I want to point out here too with the Scout is that every one of my control horns uh, from the ailerons to the elevator and the rudder, those were actually from these guys. These are um, those little uh, flossing uh, dental toothpick kind of things. And these actually had the holes already on them. So um, basically all I did is just uh, cut the unnecessary parts off of it and glued it in had a control horn um basically if you have um uh hap maybe you happen to stumble across some of the the flight test articles uh even on the forums and things like that uh or even the facebook groups i've seen these posted different places people have actually been using these these types of things for control horns um i highly recommend them as well especially if you can get the ones that already have the holes already uh and, and of course you know, drilled in drilled into them um these were of course by close up i think i'm pretty sure i got these at, at uh dollar tree um for a dollar so yeah definitely a good little cost saving do-it-yourself kind of approach there but anyways that's why i wanted to kind of show you guys was the the big thing there was on the ailerons uh and um, so far, I think the performance is doing pretty well. I'm still, of course, in the process of tweaking the thing and getting it, uh, getting the, you know, getting it to fly, fly right, and getting it trimmed out, and stuff like that. So it is, it's a work in progress. But I do think the ailerons are a really good addition. Um, I think it flies, at least right now, I think it does fly pretty good. So, uh, so anyways, expect to see, of course, see more stuff here on the scout. Whether it's things like this, I'm just showing you some basic stuff, or actual flights um from the mini scout i do have one more um uh mini scout newbie challenge flight coming up at some point here so that you will definitely see that um uh, in the near future so but um so aside from that of course if you have any other questions on the mini scout leave me a comment and let me know all right guys well that's all from me and we'll see you in the next video